SQL programming and database design using Microsoft SQL Server 2012. This is Karl Mantov. This is my new book, available on Amazon.com and in your local bookstore. This is the Wall Street area, actually Wall Street is between these two buildings, from Brooklyn. This is the Citibank building. I was here on September 11, 2001, before being bombed out at 10.30. We evacuated the building and escaped in heavy white smoke. We are in uh, SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools, which is a templated version of Visual Studio 10. There are three templates for business intelligence development, OLAP Cube Designer, SSAS, Report Designer, SSRS, and um, Integrated Services Designer, SSIS. We are going to design a tabular report using the report wizard, so file, recent project. Let's add a new report. But you see in the designer I did a test run for this report prior uh, to the interactive uh, recording of the report design. Report Add. We are in the Report Wizard. Next. Connection String. The data source is SQL Server. Edit. Windows Authentication. This is the server name. Refresh, database name AdventureWorks 2012. We can test, but because we already got the database list, it means the connection is working. Otherwise, we wouldn't get the, the menu for the databases. Next, Query Builder. This is a Query Designer. Add Table. And we are going to add a hierarchy, product in production schema, product category in production schema, and product subcategory in production schema. So this is the hierarchy, product, product subcategory, and product category. And if we slide down, we see the connection. Product subcategory ID is a foreign key to the primary key in product subcategory table. Let's put the category first, then subcategory and product name, followed by list price and color. We have to assign aliases because we see name, name, name. So it will be category, subcategory, and product. And the sort order will be one, two, and three. So basically we have our uh, columns for the report. We have all the information we need. So we say OK. And this is the actual query which was built automatically for us. That's very nice of Query Builder. So we make a tabular report. On the page header we are going to have category. 
we are going to group by subcategory and the detail is going to be product, list price and color. Next, this is the style of report, that's fine. Enable drill down, next. Ocean, let's make it ocean. And this is going to be product by category. finish. So this is our new report. Since this is an interactive report let's add interactive sorting by price. Interactive sorting sort by list price. OK. Save. Let's test preview. So the page header is the category and this page one is accessory, page two is bikes, page three is clothing and page four is components. Let's go to bikes, road bikes and this is the interactive sorting. icon up and down, road bikes, so this is um, ascending and if you if we want to make it descending we click on it and now we have it descending. This is called an interactive report where there are two ways to interact, one is the drill down and the other is the interactive sort. We can go to the next page and this is clothing, for example, jerseys, shorts, socks, and components. For example, we can buy frames, pedals, brakes, and wheels. These are the wheels. We can flip back to the design mode. We can make uh, additional modifications, we can enhance the report and save it test it again and once we are ready, we are finished, we can uh, deploy the report. SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools, formerly it was called BITS, Business Intelligence Development Studio. Actually it works uh, pretty similarly to Business Intelligence Development Studio. It is a templated environment for reports, SSIS uh, integration packages and SSIS OLAP cubes. What we have seen here is the report designer facility using um, SSDT and um, even during this short demo we could see how powerful is the design studio environment in uh, SSDT for uh, reports. We did a tabular report, interactive tabular report. This is the end of a short demo.